another word for the winter time farmers couldn't work outside. And it had been farmers who started to make such a simple kind of mechanical clock. I think the, first, the most element, more than 95%, had been made from wood, even the gears inside. Yes. And then a few iron nails. One of the reasons, also in former times, there were a lot of forest around us, and wood was a very cheap material. In the first clock, not had been cuckoo clocks, they had been simple mechanical clocks, and the first clock had only one hand the shorthand for the hours. And only at the full hour we can say exactly the time, otherwise we have to estimate the time. And even this very simple kind of clock needs to wait for the movement that the gears can turn around. And the first clock maker make a very simple thing where you go, for example, outside to the lake, take out a stone and hang it, and use it at the weight for this clock. You see, nothing happened. The clock is, doesn't work. I to keep I hang it up and use the stone as a weight. It starts to work. You can use the typical tic tac of the simple mechanical clock. And the first date we found in our documents have been the year 1600. And 100 years later, now we are in the time of the year 1750. The clock maker makes clock in this form. They are called painted face clock. The only thing uh, the clock make it take, they take a wooden plate decorated with numbers and flowers and put it for the movement. But 100 years later, now we have a better technical construction. Now we have two hands. We have all the, the short hand for the hours. Now we have the long hand for the minutes. And this kind of construction is absolutely dependable. That's absolutely necessary for this kind of movement. And sometimes we have not only decoration of flowers, sometimes we have also two of moving figures. But attention, please. The situation is not political correct. It's an angry woman and a very, very poor. Oh, thank you. This is what happens when the poor woman And I don't know the reason for the anger of the lady. Maybe he's coming, yeah, husband is coming too late at home. Or takes too much <laughs> figure so uh, And uh, as a clock with so moving figures are very typical of the black box clock makers. They like clock with moving element. There exist a lot of clocks, uh, for example, with moving figures. Here we have sometimes here a butcher and here is a cow, and then the butcher spinning on the head of the cow, and then the cow is falling down. Mm -hmm. Or we have a man who is ringing a bell. Or here we have another form that's a very hungry man like this dog. Really realistic, yeah, it seems. <laughs> but it's always the same element, it's coming up and down. And uh, although the cuckoo clocks belong to this group of clocks with swimming figures, because by cuckoo clocks the door opens, the bird is coming out, it's going up and down, as like I said, and so we are coming to this clock in the year 1850. The style of this clock is called railway cottage style. Because the design for this clock has been small cottages for the railway gate. Here in the 19th century, there was a century from the railway companies in Europe, in the United States, and other parts of the world. And uh, so, railway cottage was a very modern thing. I think so, a modern sign. And uh, you see, that's a real small cottage with a roof. As a clock, it's not a roof because it's every time it's inside the house, not outside. And uh, we have this window we are using for the cuckoo bird, and this is opening for the hands who can show up the time. And when I turn up the hands of this clock, you see the cuckoo bird is coming out. It turns up at 7 o'clock. No? And uh, the typical form of clock in the midst of the 19th century is a dark brown color, and the decoration was carbon. The first clock had a very simple decoration, only yeah, the small leaves. Yeah, yeah. That's a clock that's 100 years younger in the style, and so from the years of about 1910, we have bigger leaves with one, two, three birds. Oh, that's a very rich decorated clock with the deer, with the hunter, with the goat, with oak leaves. And all the, the carvings are handmade, they're handmade by Black Forest wood carving. Wood carving have also a long tradition of the Black Forest, the past from generation to generation. Today we have about so, um, 15 men and some wives who make the carving they call for our cuckoo clocks. 
And the wood cover prefer a special kind of wood. It's called linden wood, lime wood, or best tree. The linden tree is a tree that lives in the summertime without lives in the winter time. And uh, that's a tree you can also grow in our high for so about between 800 and 900 meters above sea level. And the advantage of this kind of wood, this wood is not so hard to make the carvings. If the wood carving, for example, takes over, oh, they need a lot of power to make the carving, but little wood, it's a little bit easier, it's softer than open for example. And the wood carving doesn't work in a factory, they're working at home, but still today a kind of a cottage industry. And uh, all the clocks here behind me are mechanical clocks. And the heart of a mechanical clock is the mechanical movement. And so we can go a few steps in this direction. So do you use the same one on this one as yeah, well? Yeah, okay. but that's, you need a lot of dark brown color. No, you see that's the same. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's the original color of the wood. But also in the 19th century or the beginning of the 20th century, dark brown furniture were very but was had been fashioned also yeah. here in Austin, Europe. And so the clock maker wants to sell their clocks. And so they think, oh, we make clocks. People want to buy something. So they can hang it in their living room. And the furniture is what dark brown. And so they take the dark brown color. But that's the original color. You can see it okay. this clock. And here, by this end, I can show the modern room, the small, modern, mechanical Google clock. Yeah, it's a Maybe I have no more. With the elements inside. And all of the stocks need absolutely the handle, if necessary, for the handle. And for the weight today, we have modern tiles. I don't use any stone anymore, we have iron weights, small weights and heavy weights. In the clock with a small weight, we will go to iron. The small weights, when you're heading up the clock in my iron, means 24 hours. One day, then all the three weights are on the floor. And the only thing I have to do every day, by all the three weights, I have to pull them. Uh, that means to wind up a clock with weights. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. I mean, I pull up the weight. Mm -hmm. And the big and heavy weights, some of them are more than 1 kg. That's uh, 1.5 kg, 3 pounds, for example, this one. They do a burn of maize so The big and heavy weights need between 7 and 8 days. Mm -hmm. And they're also lying on the floor. And I have to do the same thing also to put them up. But the big and heavy weight only once a week. They are weekly weights and they're small weight every day. And every weight has a special function. One weight is necessary for the mechanical movement of the clock. The second rate we need for the imitation of the cuckoo sound. And the third rate is necessary for music and dancing and movement. Oh. So <coughs> And the music you have heard is made by such a small mechanical music box. Mm -hmm. See that the balls with many small nails. When I turn this balls and have them in my hand, you nearly can hear them. But if I put the music box on the wood the table or this wooden plate here, the idea. You can hear yeah, the sound of the small music box. Mm -hmm. So that's sort of my record, it's a normal physical phenomenon yeah. because wood is a very good transmitter for music, yeah. especially yeah. for the resonant yeah. of music. And so also our clocks have a lot of wooden, the box with the house has a wood, wooden part, and so you can hear, you will hear the sound of such a small music box. In every music box have two different tunes, two different melodies. One tune is from the musical, the sound of music, it's called oh. Edelweiss, Edelweiss. Mm -hmm. And the other one is an old European folk song. It's called Happy Wander or in German, Mein Vater war ein Wandersmann. That's the song of the little boy in the school. <laughs> and the, all the clock, the house, the figures, the movements inside, the weights, the chains are made in German, except the small thing. The music box is the only thing which is maybe Switzerland. Okay. But we are talking about cuckoo clock, how to imitate the sound of a cuckoo bird. Therefore, we need whistles. You see, the whistle It's a very simple thing. It's made from wood. Because I don't can open the clock every hour and blow, blow into the whistle, that's not possible. Every whistle has its own melody. The thing with the white paper is a melody. And to imitate the cuckoo sound, uh, we need only two whistles. 
also gibt auch so Club Rap, wer ist Simple Song mit Coco Bird. Und that's also the reason, also former times at the beginning we are thinking to take another bird inside the song, but we can imitate this beautiful <laughs> sound of birds, it's possible, but then we need 15 or 20, this is the initial big large box, but for the imitation of the Coco Bird sound we need only two whistles. One is a bit higher in the sound, the other is a little bit deeper. And so they are going up and down, and so you can imitate the sound of a cuckoo yeah. bird with the help of two whistles. Yeah. And sometimes you see we have small dogs, and we have only the place for small whistles. Then the sound becomes a little bit different, like a very uh, yeah. baby cuckoo bird or a very young cuckoo bird. No, then the whistles are very small. And we can show you, I have a view inside mm -hmm. of Dr. Cloud. You see, that's the place for the two whistles. That's the place for the two whistles here. And, um, and that's a real backside of your clock. That's maybe it's strange for you. Since the year 1820, they have a combined sound. In the same time, when the bellows are going up and down, a little hammer is hanging on this point, and this gives your clock a light metallic sound. And I think of full and beautiful sound. And this is typical for our clock since more than 190 years. I can show you by this small clock. You know, they have small whistles, or they have a high sound. And in the back side, you can order this combination. Oh, and this one, and the, okay. The sound of this floral okay. dog. But you don't have to hear the cuckoo sound 24 hours when you say, oh, if you love me, I mean, I want to sleep. Since 20 years, we have this very important innovation. We have this switch. In this wow. position, you hear the cuckoo sound, and if you're talking about the music box, the music, and you say, I will love you bring it in the off position, and then you have a silent. You hear no cuckoo sound and no music. That's possible since all 20 years. Maybe you have to remember where your grandparents tell you. 24 hours you have been, but since 20 years we have this very important switch no? on and off it's possible by every mechanical cuckoo clock. And every uh, cuckoo clock is tested more than two days in the company to produce our clocks. And the company is not far away, only 20 kilometers from okay. uh, no, that's a mechanical, that are the battery operator. The mechanical one is only seven kilometers from the shop in the other part of TTC Neustadt. And so if you have a um, the, uh, for every mechanical cuckoo clock, it gives you a two years international guarantee. We have service centers worldwide. You see, we have service centers in the <coughs> United States, but oh, also okay. here in India, Malaysia, Singapore, uh, Vietnam, Thailand, uh, Taiwan, South Africa, Great Britain. So, if you have a question or your clock needs a measure, you can first ask the service center in your country. Before I finish, uh, some other interesting clock. You see here, uh, that's a clock. Here are two men. Here is a ladder, and the lady mm -hmm. is looking out the window. Yeah, that's a situation like when we are children. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah
the water we use. Yeah. Yeah, did you have seen that's real water? I got and that's real the water. Around. That's the first clock. I think uh, today, the only clock. It's, uh, that it's possible that the water wheel turns around with real water. Normally, we have only it turns around with the power of weight, but here it turns around with the help of the real water is coming down. Oh, there's water in it. From this cup, we need water, sure. Under the cloud, we have a box for the water. Okay. I have to fill the water every week. Every week. I take okay. distillated water. Behind this wall, it's an electronic pump. You pump the water from the box to this pump. Oh, okay. And the energy for the electronic pump, therefore, Indoor solar panels or oh, solar cells awesome. on both sides of the room here and here. Okay. And the light in this room is strong enough to refill the accumulator for this electronic pump. Okay. So, this clock is a union between high tech and the traditional mechanical clock because we need one wait for the movement of the clock, one wait for the imitation of the cuckoo sound. The third weight is necessary for the mechanical okay. music box and the dance game music. It's very extraordinary, unique clock, and that's the result for the extraordinary yeah. high price yeah. more than two thousand. Yeah, the extra special price, yeah. The special price. Yeah. <laughs> and upstairs in our shop, we have more than one hundred and twenty mechanical clocks. Okay. But for people who don't want to buy a clock every day or once a week, we have also electronic clocks, for example, like this one. And here, the weights of the pendulum is only show, only decoration. The electronic clock oh. wants to look like a. Mechanical like block, but this isn't a mechanical block. Oh, okay. If you are not sure, the mechanical block has iron weights or, or metallic weights, mm -hmm. you can feel it, and the battery operated weight has well, the weights are from plastic or wood. Because they are only show, they are fake. Because when I show you the back side of this block, you see here. The battery. It's a battery operated block. Oh, okay. We have medium size or C size batteries. Uh, are necessary. And the sound of such a block is a big difference to the mechanical one. It's the sound of a Electronic oh, battery operated yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a digital recorded sound recorded. of the original cuckoo bird. Okay. That's, that's the original cuckoo sound. In the background, you hear some echo or water or something that is possible by a digital recorded sound. And uh, this is only possible by electronic, not by a mechanical one. Mm -hmm. By a mechanical one, you can only imitate the, the sound of the cuckoo bird. So that's your choice. You can buy a traditional cookie and then you have to wipe it off every day or once a week. Or for 30 years, we have an electronic clock like this one. By such a clock, you have only to change the batteries. And that's a question of the quality and the price of the batteries. Right. Um, a cheap battery you have to change after two or three months. You buy a very long living battery after 12, 14, or 15 months. Right. Thank, thank you very Thank much. you very much. Thank you.